Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all well and in good health. My name is Sandra, welcome back to another video, okay? So today's video is all about how I use my Cali Proverbs hair growth oil and whether it has worked for me or not, okay? So, first of all, I have the oil here, okay? So let me just tell you how I use it. First of all, let me tell you how I strain it okay I normally would just strain it with a normal strainer okay and once that is done I will go ahead and strain it again and this is um, I'm sorry it's 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 all dirty but I have um, henna stains in it so it's it looks a bit weird but um, this is my baby's um, muslin muslin cloth okay so if you have a baby and you ever bought muslin cloth for them don't throw it out this is what i use to strain my henna okay it's really good for straining it and you're getting all your henna you know in there but you're just getting all that the things in the henna out of it okay so they don't get bits in it stuck in your hair whatever but yeah this is what i use so it's stained off henna and then um, I would just put it over a bowl or something and then I would strain the henna and I would go ahead and just squeeze it, squeeze it out until I've got all the oil out and then I'll go ahead and obviously um, transfer it in an applicator bottle like this and just go ahead and use it. So this is the henna I made with you guys. This is the henna I made with you guys and as you can see I made about half halfway like that so i've already used about half and i've got a little bit in there okay so this oils like i use it a lot so um how do i use it okay so what i usually do is i would use it about a day or two before my wash day okay and i would do this because i don't like the smell of this product it's amazing for your hair yes but i don't like the smell so i don't like and it's a lingus it's not something sorry my baby's here so you can hear her in the background um it's a, a product that lingers in your hair i put it uh, took a little bit on my fingers um and massaged it in my baby's hair what well, a couple of days ago and her hair still smells of it okay so it lingers around for days and days okay so i don't use it maybe on a wash day or a couple of days after my wash day that way i don't go around smelling of henna and watch and fenugreek and what what have you so i prefer to use it that way okay so you guys have seen how i use it and um, one way i use it which is in hot oil treatment um, another way i like to use it is just to massage my scalp maybe the day or two before my wash day i'll just massage my scalp with it i wouldn't put it in my hair at all um, and this is what i do if i'm using it maybe like two days before my wash day i'll just put it on my scalp and that's it and then on my wash day i'll go ahead and use it i also use the baggy i also do the baggy method with this as well um this is day one of my wash day and i i did use it to baggy method my hair okay but i used it also on my scalp every time i use this thing i use it on my scalp okay whether i'm using it in my hair or i'm doing a baggy method i use it on my scalp because it's amazing for your scalp too so that's how i use it basically i also mix it in with um deep conditioners but um i used it also in my clay mask so i use it a whole lot in deep conditioners as i said in clay mask any diy i'm doing that requires an oil i would most likely use this oil in it okay i mix it also in my baby's deep conditioner i don't like to use it just like that on her scalp because she doesn't like it she hates it um the only way she would she would not know that i'm using is when i go and take in my hands and then i will leave the bottle in the kitchen and then I'll come back with just my hands and then start massaging her scalp, okay? So she has um, a few areas here on the sides where and then on the back where she's been sleeping on so they, they're extra dry and they are um, shedding more on those areas so I like to massage just those areas. Um, so yeah, that's how I basically use it. Um, now, has it worked for me? Yes yes and yes this product has been amazing for me okay so first thing i'm going to say is my edges now i don't know if you guys can see my edges 
let me just lift my hair so that you can see but i feel like since using this and massaging it around my edges my edges has gotten so my edges has gotten so thick so so thick thicker than i really wanted for my edges to get because I like to sometimes lay my um, edges. I don't always do this, but sometimes I like to. And when your, your hair on the edges is very thick, it becomes difficult for it to lay down with gel. At least my hair does. So um, that's, that's the problem with my edges. They've gone so, so thick. I don't know if you guys can see. They've gone so, so thick much thicker than i wished okay but um i can't use this product and not put it on my edges at the same time so yeah it's a bit it's a bit weird but i think my edges have now just grown in too much and too thick okay now my edges before this product was just okay it wasn't like thick but it wasn't like thin also it was just normal um but now I feel like my edges have gone thicker and thicker. So if you're going to start this oil, I would say give yourself a month or two. Measure your hair. I always, I didn't do this before. I, I only started to measure my hair when I started to use this oil. But actually measure your hair a month or two. So take two months out before you start to use this oil. Make sure you measure your hair and um, just stretch it and take a tape measuring of uh, measure it and then write it down i put it in my phone and um, and then do that another month you can do it up to three months it's up to you but you can do it two or three months i think just one is not enough to show you how your hair grows especially if you're someone who does not know you know your hair cycle and how it grows and whatever so i would say just take those months out and do that then start using this so if you take two or three months out measuring your hair then start using this and then keep measuring so choose a date in the month my date is the fifth of every month okay so you can choose any date you like and measure your hair and write it down in a notebook or on your phone or whatever this will let you know how your hair was growing or how much your hair was growing before prior to using the oil and how much your hair is growing since you started to use the oil that's one mistake i i didn't do that i really wish i did because i didn't know even though my hair was growing normal i don't know what normal for me is okay so i'm thinking that i may stop using this oil for a while for a couple of months just to see what my hair how my hair grows without this oil then start again okay because i think it's very important to know how your hair grows how much you get roughly um a month and then when you start getting this using this oil you would know um how how much more you're getting or if you're getting less or whatever that would be really helpful i think for you guys if you could do that okay i didn't do that now i'm just wondering whether i should or not but um, that's one thing I, that's one tip I'd really recommend for you guys if you haven't started to use this try and do that before you start using this okay another difference is my root my roots my roots are coming in so much my new growth are coming in so much thicker than before like when I put my my fingers in my um, in my hair on the roots I really feel really like thick hair on the roots so that's another thing i've noticed but generally i think um it's made my hair much thicker than it was so um if you ask me which products actually i'm going to do a video on which products that is helping me to grow my hair okay so if you'd like to see that let me know by thumbing up this video okay so that's basically i love this oil i think i've seen a lot of difference but because i didn't do the measure me because I didn't do the measurement before, I'm not exactly sure what I'm growing, if I'm growing extra hair with this oil or not. But generally, I think I've seen a whole lot of difference in my hair. I think my hair just has cycles where it grows slowly and then another cycle where it grows faster. So I really don't know. This is something I want to look deeper 
into okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i shall see you in the next one take care bye